back to JC Motor Garage. So we went out and bought some uh, sea foam spray because there's a lot of carbon on the throttle body. We bought some oil just so we could run through it, get all that carbon build up and all that stuff out of there because it's been sitting for a year. So we're going to run this through there for a couple days and then we're going to flush it and then we'll get some high mileage engine oil for that. So we also got some uh, carpet mat spray so we can clean out the carpet and some uh, fresh FX carpet refresher by Armor All. And we got STP fuel injection cleaner, so we're gonna throw that in the gas tank. We're gonna run that through there. And then we also picked up a oil filter. So right now we're gonna do the sea foam and we're gonna let it sit and then we're gonna drive it and let it smoke and uh, burn all that carbon out of that engine. We'll get the throttle body cleaned up right here. So we'll get that cleaned up. We'll take that off of there. We'll scrub it out, clean the butterfly. We'll spray the linkage and um, that'll pretty much be it. So let's get to it. So basically how this stuff works is you this little hose you clicks on there and this goes right in the throttle body like this. And then you have to have somebody hold the RPMs above 2,500 RPMs as you're spraying this in there so the car doesn't die. So let's do that and then uh, we'll let it sit. So let's get to it. So we got the seafoam sprayed in the throttle body. It smoked a lot, so that's a good thing. It's burning all that carbon. So we're gonna leave it set for about 10 minutes and then we'll start it up and uh, drive it and we'll get all that carbon build up out of there. And as soon as we're done with that, we'll uh, we'll do the oil change real quick and uh, we'll get that done. You lost the drain pan. It's all right. So there's the oil. We're doing an oil change on the Honda Accord. And uh, you can see the oil's pretty black. It's been sitting for about a year. So we're gonna put that other oil in here, gonna drive it for a couple days. And then uh, we'll do another oil change and we'll do some high mileage engine oil. But this should be good to drain this out of here and get this oil out. So let's let this drain. And then uh, we'll get the oil filter next. We'll get that. Find out where it's at. It's probably in the back of the engine. But let's see. Yes, it's pretty black. So they're out, and it says one ten of two thousand eighteen. So that's the last time this engine oil was changed. So yeah, it's been sitting about a year. So because it's almost January. So yeah, that's the last time this engine oil has been changed. So it was pretty dirty. We got a new filter on it and we got the oil done. So we're gonna fill it up and then we're gonna let it run. We're gonna see how much better it is with brand new oil. So today we did the oil change and we did the um, sea foam and the fuel injection cleaner in the, in, the, in the gas tank. So right now it's running. We got the engine oil cleaned up. As you can see, the engine oil, the oil um, oil filter said 110 of 2018, so it's been about a year, so it's got changed. So we'll let this run for a couple days and we'll uh, we'll change it again, put some high mileage engine oil in it, but we're gonna run it a couple days and get that, all that carbon build up. After we did the sea foam, we drove it and VTEX opened up and it's running a lot better it's not misfiring at all so after doing spark plugs and doing all that to it it's running a lot better so stay tuned for some more videos on the cord if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe like our channel share it you can follow us on facebook and instagram at jc motor garage thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on jc motor garage